surprisingly good coverage. I'm using these on a 29er mountain bike that doubles as my commuter with a second set of wheels and skinny tires. These fenders are made more for road bikes, but they work fine in my application with suspension forks, reverse arch, and MTB geometry. I may cut the rear fender a bit, as it extends lower than the BB, but this isn't a major issue. It just rattles around down there a bit since it's unsecured the holes don't line up with the hole in my frame. I've been riding with these on for about a week and snow and slush and they keep me dry, even my shoes for the most part. My review is for UPC code 642 billion and 16 million 701,504, 45 mm. I put these on a CX commuter bike with 33 mm cross tires took about 20 minutes of playing around to mount. There is no L bracket for the front fork crown, so I used a zip tie. One should be included because there was too much movement without it. The front fender is now arc solid. The rear took a lot of playing around to center and there was some lateral movement. The fender rubbed the tire on bumps. With less knobby tires, you would probably not notice. However, I added a rack and zip tied the rods to the rack, applying outward force, and it is now fantastic. The other option if you do not have eyelets is to use QR axle adapters with traditional fenders. But I did not go that route because my rack mounts via the skewer as well. My seat stays in four car oval shaped, but I have the straps as tight as possible and they do not move. Length is perfect and they keep me dry.